Princess Irulan writes, any true student must realize that history has no beginning. Regardless of where a story starts, there are always earlier heroes and earlier tragedies. Before one can understand Muad'Dib or the current jihad that followed the overthrow of my father, Emperor Shaddam IV, one must understand what we fight against. Therefore look more than 10,000 years into our past, 10 millennia before the birth of Paul Atreides. It is there that we see the founding of the Empyrean, how an emperor rose from the ashes of the Battle of Koran to unify the bruised remnants of humanity. We will delve into the most ancient records, into the very myths of Dune, into the time of the Great Revolt, more commonly known as the Butlerian Jihad. The terrible war against thinking machines was the genesis of our political commercial universe. Here now, as I tell the story of free humans rebelling against the domination of robots, computers, and Cymex, observe the basis of the great betrayal that made mortal enemies of House Atreides and House Harkonnen, a violent feud that continues to this day. Learn the roots of the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood the Spacing Guild and their navigators, the Swordmasters of Ganaz, the Souk Medical School, the Mentats. Witness the lives of oppressed Zensuni wanderers who fled to the desert world of Arrakis, where they became our greatest soldiers, the Fremen. Such events led to the birth and life of Muad'Dib. Long before Muad'Dib, in the last days of the old empire, Humanity lost its drive. Terran civilization had spread across the stars, but grew stagnant. With few ambitions, most people allowed efficient machines to perform everyday tasks for them. Gradually, humans ceased to think, or dream, or truly live. Then came a man from the distant Thalem system, a visionary who took the name of Tlaloc after an ancient god of rain. He spoke to languid crowds, attempting to revive their human spirit to no apparent effect. But a few misfits heard Tlaloc's message. These new thinkers met in secret and discussed how they would change the empire if only they could overthrow the foolish rulers. Discarding their birth names, they assumed appellations associated with great gods and heroes. Foremost among them, were General Agamemnon and his lover Juno, a tactical genius. These two recruited the programming expert Barbarossa, who devised a scheme to convert the Empire's ubiquitous servile machines into fearless aggressors by giving their AI brains certain human characteristics, including the ambition to conquer. Then several more humans joined the ambitious rebels. In all, Twenty masterminds formed the core of a revolutionary movement that took over the old empire. <laughs>